Virginia heads to Clemson. Clemson, a 21 and a half point favorite, total of 57 and a half. And my number on this is Clemson minus 22.13. Over the last four weeks, it's Clemson minus 27.24. And you look at this, and there is a decided advantage for Clemson really on both sides of the ball, uh, but more so on the offensive side where they have just been absolutely rolling under offensive coordinator Garrett Riley. Uh, Cade Klubnick is looking good. Number 22 in predicted points added per pass. They're number 13 in passing success rate. Virginia's defense is number 93 in PPA allowed per pass. And on the other side, uh, Clemson number six predicted points added per rush. And Virginia's defense in that same metric is number 48. So Clemson on offense should be able to do kind of whatever they want to. On defense, the only weakness for Clemson, as you can see here, is number 70 in PPA allowed per pass. But Virginia isn't great at throwing it. They're number 75 in PPA per pass on offense. Number 107 in passing success rate. Uh, They can run, kind of. Number 43 in PPA per rush for the Cavs. And uh, number 56 for Clemson's defense. You start looking at field position. You look at points per scoring opportunity which Clemson's defense does not allow teams to really get into inside the opponent 40-yard line very often. Uh, they're number 44 in that metric, allowing, allowing five drives per game there. But they're number 109 in points allowed per scoring opportunity. The issue is that Virginia has not been very good at finishing drives. They're number 97, even though they get there uh, 32nd most in the country. On the other side, Clemson number 15 in points per scoring opportunity on offense. Virginia's defense is number 68. So Clemson, I think, could kind of name their score here. But remember, Tony Elliott used to be Dabo's offensive coordinator. I think he's got a soft spot for Tony Elliott. We're getting a hook here. That's the best number I could find. I'll take Virginia plus the 21 and a half. I think that this is not uh, a game that he's going to want to run it up very much because they've they've certainly done that in other spots. Uh, They've got a bye week coming up after this. I don't think they're too worried about that. So give me Virginia plus the 21 and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.